Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog wilsonhomestead.com and today I want to do my son Dimmy's 11 month update. In one month, he will be a year old. Actually less than one month because I'm filming this the day after he turns 11 months, which means it won't even go out until he's like well into his 11th, 11th month. So, sorry about that, but it's just been crazy. We're potty training Sophia. It's, it's just been kind of a circus around here lately and you probably noticed that I've been off of YouTube for a couple weeks but I'm back now. So there's a couple new things, not as much as last time I feel like but let's just get right into this update. I haven't weighed him in a while. I'm curious to see what he weighs but they are napping upstairs right now, so I'm not gonna get them in William. If I remember to, I'll put it up over the screen what he weighs. He has gotten so mobile lately. He can crawl so fast, and he can crawl across like both of our rooms. He crawls to the kitchen, and then he goes back in the bathroom, and he just like is in exploring mode, and it's so cute. And it's really cute when he's like, he'll find me somewhere in the house and he'll like be crawling up to me and then he'll start whining because he wants me to pick him up. And I'm like, come here, Dimmy, you can do it. And he just like crawls right over to me and then he like wants to be picked up. And it's just like something about it is like really cute to me. <laughs> but he's gotten really good at it. He does kind of a knee and a foot crawl. So he does one knee and then a foot and then a knee and then a foot. So that's really cute. <laughs> it's always interesting to see how the babies will crawl because they always do it differently. He's been a little bit more clean lately. He probably knows that there's just a change happening with my pregnancy. This is kind of what happened with Sophia too when I got pregnant with Denise. Kind of through the whole pregnancy, she was just kind of clean more than usual. And so he might do the same thing. But then once the baby was, once, once he got here, she stopped being clean. So probably the same thing will happen this time. Because he's been cleaning lately, he's been loving to be in the woven wrap. I recently sewed some woven wraps because the regular backpack carrier that I have goes right over my stomach and that's getting really uncomfortable now that I'm getting a little bit bigger. So I got a woven wrap and the strap goes over your chest or your breasts, depending on how you wrap it. So that's been so much more comfortable with the pregnant belly going on and he loves it. He really loves being in there. It's a little bit scary to wrap him because I'm still getting the hang of it, but we're getting there. I've been in the process of weaning him because I'm pregnant and I feel like there's just kind of a lot of strain on my body with three back-to-back -back pregnancies and still breastfeeding him at 11 months, which I was planning on going to a year, which will probably make it to a year before he's completely weaned. But I'm so happy that I made it so much further than with Sophia, and my milk hasn't even been dropping off with this pregnancy like it did last time, but I just feel like my body needs a little bit of a break. He seems ready because he's been eating so many solids. It's kind of sad though, because I love breastfeeding and he's just so snuggly and he loves breastfeeding, so it's kind of sad. I can't breastfeed him forever, I guess. It feels so weird to be saying this in this video about talking about my pregnancy because we've been just keeping it a secret for so long. But the pregnancy announcement will be up before this one, so you guys will already know by now, but it just still feels weird to be talking about it in a video. So before I started weaning him, he was still nursing like before and after each nap. So however many times that is, he takes like three naps. It depends on the amount of naps and now I, I had been cutting out one at a time. I would just do, I would cut out the one before and after his nap at the same time because he takes sh such short naps, just like half an hour. So it's not even like, I could basically count those as one breastfeeding session. So I would cut out a whole nap thing one at a time and now we're down to two, sort of three. He does nurse in the morning right, at, right when he wakes up and then he nurses after, before and after his third nap, which I just count as one nursing. And then pretty soon, I'm feeling like it's been a week or so since we cut out the last one that we're about ready to cut out that one after his third nap. And then we'll be just down to the one in the morning because that's both of our favorite time to breastfeed. But I've just, just been drinking a lot of peppermint tea lately to just kind of encourage my milk supply to drop a little bit more. I just didn't want to deal with anything like mastitis or being engorged. So far, it's been really smooth. My milk is just dropping really well. Not too fast, like he's still getting plenty when he does nurse, but I haven't dealt with any like engorgement issues, which has been really nice. He obviously still eats solids really well if I'm weaning him, but he just loves any food we give him pretty much. He'll just eat whatever we're eating and he loves it. He gets a little bit picky when we try to spoon feed him because he wants to do it himself, 
he wants chunks put on his tree that he can put in his house. So that gets really messy. He goes through so many changes of clothes, just with the crawling all over the place and insisting on feeding himself, but it's good for him and it's cute. He still sleeps really great. Right now he's not. Both of them are supposed to be taking a nap and they're just lining up there. But for the most part, he does great with, with sleeping. He's still taking three naps a day. I tried to cut him back to two recently, but he just didn't seem ready. He was just really fussy during the day and he just seemed like he was so tired by the time I would let him nap. So we just went back to three naps because he just is so much happier when he's awake. And he's probably almost there at the ready to take two naps thing, but while we're potty training and everything, I don't want to think about that also. And he's still been sleeping through the night really well, which I'm so thankful for. I just really need my sleep, especially while I'm pregnant. I've been so tired. So I'm so happy that both of them just sleep through the night. They're, and they're still sleeping in the same room really great. I updated you guys about that one in his 10 month update. They moved into the same room and it's still going really well. They're just getting more and more used to it. And even though they take, Sophia takes her one nap and he takes his middle nap. They take them at the same time. He'll wake up after half an hour she'll sleep for two hours. Even though I have to go in there and get him, she never wakes up from that. And then if she cries during the night, it doesn't wake him up. And they've just like really adjusted this to this really well. And they don't really seem to disturb each other too much. So this is good for them to get used to stuff like that because they'll probably be sharing a room with siblings for a long time. But I feel a little bit like the poor little thing has been neglected these last few days just with potty training. And I've been having to keep my eagle eye on Sophia. So he's been a little bit more independent over the last few days. He's been doing really well with it, but like, I just really just want to snuggle him and not have to think about watching a toddler pee your pants. <laughs> so you can clearly see I'm like ready for this pie train thing to be over with. It's a process though. Yep. And I'll be glad that we did it when it's done. But whenever he wakes up before her when they're taking a nap together, I just take the rest of her nap as an opportunity to just snuggle him and nurse him if it's time for nursing at that point. And we just play together and I try to get some really good one-on-one -on -one time with him because like I haven't gotten enough snuggles from him lately, just with all the stuff going on. So that is pretty much all for his 11 month update. I just cannot believe that his next update will be the last one. That is kind of sad. Like he's gonna be a year old. He doesn't even seem like a year old because I don't know, I kind of just picture a one year old walking more, but who knows, he could walk in a month if it's possible. But he's just getting so big and he's just such a happy-go-lucky kind of easygoing guy. He's just so sweet and he always has smiles for everyone. Oh, and he's gotten so ticklish. It's so adorable. He's consistently ticklish now. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this update and I will see you in my next video. Bye.